You are watching William Patterson University Television. Good afternoon and welcome back to SFA Presents where we exhibit the works of the talented filmmakers here at William Patterson University. I'm your host, Jamie Sharp, filling in for Joanka Vallejo. And today we're digging into the world of theater. This guest has been a part of They Don't Pay, We Don't Pay, more recent 26 Pebbles, which was done here at our own university's Black Box Theater and has recently taken his talents onto the bigger screen by joining the Student Film Association. I'd like to introduce the director of The Gift, Herbert Umstead. Hi Herb, how are Hi. you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? Thanks for being on the show. No problem. All right, so let's dive into our first question. What would you say is the biggest difference between theater and film? So the biggest difference is from being an actor on stage, to actually being an actor in cinema also, is you have to be much more small with your actions. Mm -hmm. If you go over overboard with it, it looks fake. Compared to being in theater, you have to go all, you have to try to make it all the way to the back of the theater. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's a completely different technique, and you get to be much more subtle with your movements, but it kind of makes it bigger on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely don't want to overdo it. Yeah. So what would you say is the biggest part of jumping from being an actor in theater to directing a film? So the biggest jump is um, understanding that in theater you have one, you, there's no stops. There's no, we're going to change the camera here and do that. You are starting from act one, page one, and you're going to finish that on the last page to where in um, film and everything like that, you get to have multiple days to shoot, different mm -hmm. takes, and you get to kind of choose the best one to make it look all really good. Mm -hmm. so. What do you say one's more difficult than the other one? Um, they all have their actual difficulties. Um, film, it's more, um, you have to kind of, there's a bunch of things that you need to make sure you have to where theater, it's very exhausting by the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And you, because you're giving 120% on stage to make everybody, everybody in that theater from the back to the front feel that they have, you know, gotten their money's worth. Okay, so um, let's talk about The Gift, your film. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the plot? The, uh, the plot follows um, two men. Um, one passed away recently, and the other one, um, Marcus, who's played by Matthew Martinez, um, is kind of trying to, he's struggling with the grief, and so he, has this nightmare and he wakes up from it and all of a sudden um, his loved one comes back from the dead mm -hmm. and it takes a very strange turn at the end. Mm, so. I see. So was this the original <laughs> plot of your film or did some things change? Some things changed. Uh, so it was supposed to be with two girls. Um, mm. I didn't have enough, I'll, everybody's kind of busy at this point in the semester Definitely. so I'm like, I, they were like, uh, I can't really do it now. And so I was like, oh, maybe I can do it with a man and a woman that still works. And then I was like, maybe I could do it with still two guys. And so that's kind of what happened. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of scrounging that up. The script didn't really need any changes from that. So it was kind of easy after that. Okay, that's great. Um, so this isn't your first film. I hear you've had a film called Rage Cookies. Can you... Uh, what's a little bit different from this film so from that film? Rage Cookies was a film one project that won in the Halloween Film Festival. I was assistant director to it. And it was more, there was more, f we had a lot more freedom with it. Um, we did have a shot list and everything like that, but we kind of diverged from it also. And so, um, but it was really different because there was no audio at all. It was just, we put music underneath it and then it was just a silent film. Mm -hmm. And so, that wasn't, we didn't have to worry about having good clean audio or anything. So it was, it was very different from that aspect to where in The Gift, we actually had to have audio and we had to kind of match and everything because going into editing, it was much more easier to just throw that together, make it look good. And then The Gift, it was more me syncing everything up, which took longer. Okay, great. So I did see Rage Cookies. I'm really excited to see The Gift. So let's take a look.
That doesn't matter now. Just, I'm here. For how long? I don't know. But I know a way that we could be together forever. How? Do you trust me? I do. What we need to do to be together. Julie, I really Do you to. trust me? I do. Good. All right, Herb, that was amazing. I love seeing scripts go from the script onto the actual big screen to see mm -hmm. the transformation. So what would you say it was the hardest part about making this film? So the hardest part was kind of um, getting everybody on the same page on the day of the shoot and then kind of making sure we got the second day also. Mm -hmm. And then it was also just kind of editing everything. I'm not a big editor. Mm -hmm. And so I also had help from a good friend of mine, uh, AJ Natilla. Mm -hmm. um, he also directed Rage Cookies with me. And so it was kind. Of, it was easier with him there to edit everything, but that was probably the hardest thing for me because I'm not that good at editing at all. Uh, okay. So this film has like some sort of suspense. So it has this really ominous vibe. Can you tell us more about that? Why you chose it? So um, I I was uh, trying to figure out something that would be unique, and so. When I when I was doing like picking romance, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. how can I put a twist on that? And so I was kind of trying to fall asleep one night, and I was like, ooh, that would this story kind of came to mind. And I was like, that would be actually cool to do. Mm -hmm. And so I've always wanted to do something with a demonic type of feel to it for some reason. Mm -hmm. And so when I finally got to put that in there, I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. <laughs> and so it kind of was just two worlds kind of fitting together, and I was like, this is it gets me going, and it's something I'm excited for mm -hmm. to do. So you're saying you got the idea from your dreams? It was not even that. I, would just, mm -hmm. I just didn't fall asleep. And I was trying to thinking of what story I could do and everything like that, like romance. And I'm like, OK, um, this kind of came out of nowhere. I'm like, this is perfect. This fits together like a glove. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is the message of this film that you're trying to say? It's more of just kind of don't trust what you see. Um, because obviously, all of a sudden, um, Marcus's, Matthew Martinez's character, boyfriend comes back and you're like, and he just goes along with it, but he's still hesitant. And so it's kind of more just kind of trust your gut. Don't, don't trust your eyes more. Okay. So do you have any more upcoming films or even plays that you're going to be a part of? So I just finished filming on someone, uh, on a horror film with a director a few weeks ago. And then um, I have two other films that will be start filming soon. Mm -hmm. Plus, we have a theater arts festival that's going to come on. Okay. It's a comedy festival um, that's going to happen after spring break, the weekend after. So it's the 21st to the 24th. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about the theater arts festival? Who's going to be a part of it? So we, it's a four-day thing. Um, from so the 21st to the 24th. Sunday is going to be the plays. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to go from. Um, sketches, stand-up, and Pioneer Players are going to be involved also. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to have a mixture of just a bunch of comedy for people to enjoy. Okay. And so. Great. Um, so I understand you are a new, like, not a new member, but you're a recent member of the Student Film Association. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular reason that got you to join? So I just kind of wanted to make more films mm -hmm. and then outside of film class. And so I was like, this is a probably the best opportunity I can get, and mm -hmm. that has been the case. I've been able to make more than I would have if I just stayed in a film class. Okay. So. Would you suggest that other player, um, other filmmakers who do want to make films join this club rather than just take the classes? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, it helps a lot more. You start, you actually can develop your style, because in film class, you're kind of constrained to like, like what they're giving you, the project and everything like that, to where Outside of it, when you're in the film club, you're allowed to make whatever you want to make, and you kind of get the feel of your style and what you what you want to put on screen and everything like that. So you kind of figure out who you are as a creative artist. Okay. Yeah, definitely great to get your foot in the door. Um, do you have any advice that you would give to new filmmakers or even people who want to join theater? So um, 
just do it. <laughs> it's it's kind of easy to say, hard to do. Um, because a lot of people are going to tell you it's stupid to do. You're not going to go anywhere with it, but it's kind of false. You can go very far with it if you just trust yourself. It's not easy, though. You're going to get a lot of rejection mm -hmm. and no's and just everything like that. And But if you keep trucking along, one day that opportunity will come to where you can finally bloom into who you're supposed to be as an artist. All right. Thank you so much, Herbert, for being no on our show. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much to Herbert Umstead for being here with us today. Thank you so much to our crew for the help, Al Clark for the studio manager, and thank you for everybody for watching. Remember, Student Film Association meets every Thursday during Common Hour. That is from 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. at Hobart Hall in Screening Room 140A. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Student Film Association or SFA Presents YouTube channel, SFA Presents. And follow us on Instagram at WPUSFA for more information on the club's upcoming events. Tune in for the next upcoming show.